Hi everyone, it's Kelly and I have a Teach Me Tuesday project to share with you for MB Treasurista. I decided that I wanted to do a tutorial of the purse that I made for the fundraiser for the school. And the purse was made with a Creative Memories triangle cutter template that looks like this. And then this was actually the blade that I used. And how it works is it has two notches um, here and here. And you put the notches on the grooves of the cutter. And you just slide it around. And it's pretty simple, but I had to go through two layers. So it made it a little difficult. But there are three different blades. This is the closest blade to the cut. And then there are two others. But I decided I wanted to use that one. And the paper collection that I chose was a sort of fall theme and it was called Wild Splendor. The paper that I chose was the beautiful floral print that you see here and then the few MB Treasurista items I decided to use were the new satin ruffled trim that is featured on the Creative Inspiration for the month and the Daisy Pearl trim in the Hunter Green and then I also chose a small cabochon that I decided to use and Copic color with brown uh, cocoa E25. And the reason I decided to do that is because the cabochon wasn't really showing up as much as I wanted it to and I just gave it a few dabs of the cocoa to accent it a little bit and bring that out. And then the other materials that I needed were the Velcro. So I decided to make a little purse, and it's going to be a gift um, card holder. Let me see if I can get that paper to stay up. Maybe not. And I decided I wanted to make a gift card holder, because I have a friend whose birthday is coming up. And how it works is, if you saw the video, you saw that I cut out the whole image after folding the paper and then I cut off the inside part of the triangle I left the outside part here that is the part that I adhered the ribbon to I then added the velcro and I closed it and that's how I know my placement when I do velcro I'll put it all on one side and then I close it and push it down and that's how I know it's gonna stick exactly where I need it to hold then what I did in the video was I took some of the trim and I took the satin ruffled trim and I trimmed that with the green daisy pearl trim which was the perfect accent for this paper. I picked out the greens and the light browns that I wanted to use. The cabochon again is in the middle and as you can see I just added a little bit of sort of dimension in color so that it stands out a little bit more. There goes my paper. Um, but basically then what I did was I um, adhered this trim to the inside. I adhered the, the holder, the handle, to the back. And then again I took the trim and I just lined the top of the card to sort of finish it off so that it didn't have that uh, rough edge from the other trims. So this is a really simple little gift card holder. The holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving, Halloween, um, Christmas is right around the corner and this was a perfect little idea to put a gift card in. So I wanted to share that with you for my Teach Me Tuesday at MB Treasury Style. have a list of the link for the goodies below use coupon Kelly all capitals Kelly 10 for 10% 10 off your order so thanks again for watching and have a good week bye